things is probably the reason your hair is not growing. Answer these questions for me. Are you stressed? Stress raises your cortisol level and causes you to create a hormone called DHT, which causes hair loss. Do you have a few tools in your back pocket that help you to manage your stress when difficult situations come up? Breath work, reading your Bible, calling a friend. Instead of waiting till a stressful situation arises, I challenge you to actually implement one of those small habits into your daily routine and see how it reduces your stress over time. Have you recently had a baby? Childbirth is hard on the body and there's an element where losing some hair is gonna be totally normal. I've been actively working on my hair health for the past five years and I've had two births since then and I still lost hair um, postpartum. But there are definitely things you can do to combat the hair loss so it's not so bad. The products that I use are actually like promoting growth focus. So if you wanna take the quiz in my bio, I can help you find some that work for you. What are you eating? Are you focused on eating whole foods and a balanced amount of carbs, proteins, and fats in every meal? Or are you eating more processed foods? I know it can be difficult, but if you can slow down every day and make a wholesome breakfast, lunch, and dinner of whole foods, literally can change the game of your hair health. I just did a video today, sorry. I just did a video sharing my hair healthy breakfast or my hair growth breakfast. Go ahead and click that video and I'll put it below. How do you brush your hair? Are you starting at the top and ripping through and getting this massive knot on the bottom that you just rip out of your head? Or are you using a detangler first, starting at the bottom, brushing vertically and very gently from the ends, brushing and then working your way back to the top? Do you wear tight ponytails, buns in the same style every single day? Not only can that cause breakage, but I've literally seen people get a massive bald spot on the back of their head from all that pulling and weight that's on their hair. When you can wear loose styles with like a silk scrunchie and rotate your style so you're not always having it in the same place. And lastly, what treatment products are you using? Every single week, you should be doing an oil treatment on your scalp and on your ends. That's gonna really help because think the oil is trying to get all the way from here down to your ends. That's gonna be really difficult. And you also wanna be doing a mask, which is gonna strengthen your hair. And also most masks have like a moisture barrier that they're gonna put on your hair to protect it. I share hair tips every day, so feel free to hit follow and learn how to grow your hair long and healthy. And if you want products that are gonna help that, go ahead and take the free hair consultation in my bio.